What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and today we're taking a look at all of the awesome weapons, outfits, colors, belts, firearms, and gauntlets that can be unlocked throughout the game. I think this is one of the cooler parts of the more recent Assassin's Creeds, all of the upgrades uh, and kind of crazy cosmetic unlocks, and actual gameplay unlocks that you can get because not only are these things different looking in terms of appearance but they definitely have different attributes as well so we're going to go through the weapons first um got some different uh knives here which are pretty darn nasty that's a beastly knife that would definitely take off anybody's top uh, we've got our cane sword things which i think are kind of cool the fact that it's a cane and then a sword it's like an old man meets a terrible youth uh, in one hefty package i like this one because it has an elephant uh, atop its mantle. Um, we've got iron gauntlets here. We've got initiate knuckles. That's what we have currently. Crow strength gauntlets. I'm just going to scroll through all of these and we'll stop on the, the coolest ones. Um, you can see that a lot of them have to be crafted or have to be acquired via conquering um, certain areas. I'm guessing that there's ones that we'll have to purchase with in-game currency as well. Steel knuckles, the goddess cane sword, bold eagle kukri. Is that how you say that? Kukiri kukri. Guards. The Mayan Cane Sword, interesting. Uh, bear Paw, Great Old Ones Caress, <laughs> funny names here for some of this stuff. A horse, different color blades. Uh, ooh, that, some of these look so freaking nasty. I picture like a R-rated Jafar carrying that one, the Master Ruby. Charles Dickens has his own cane sword, man. Thought that guy was a writer. I'm not looking to wreck fools. Lord Jonathan's Retribution, Lion Claws. Another lion. I like the sound of that, too. All of these sheathing and unsheathing um, different canes. Ooh, jaw tenderizer. That one looks freaking nasty. Something straight out of Friday the 13th. Death knuckles. Ooh, obsidian lion cane. Ancient blade. Gold blessing. Jade dragon. Copper love. There's so many of these, as you can see. Whoa, that one's so cool. All right. So all of these so far have been able to be unlocked via just levels and conquering things um, that's unknown the light and dark cane sword and eagle splendor knife there so none of those were needed needed uh in-game currency at, at all um they're all accessible via unlocks uh, and leveling up now the gauntlets here do cost money um and require progression now i'm sure that they will cost money uh, once we reach that point by the way but i'm just saying none of them are like straight for purchase which is is good i guess um and then these here or like, you know, like a microtransaction. Like, oh, this one costs five bucks. Nothing like that is what I meant. Um, secret items, and then you can obviously purchase them um, after that. Now, firearms. We've got some uh, some small pistols. Derringer's pistol, pocket pistol, Model 1 revolver upgrading and advancing our firearm uh, capacity here. M187 lightning, bullseye revolver, Lancaster four barrel. Whew, some nasty guns here. That one looks pretty sick. Reach loyalty level four with Frederick Aberline. Okay. So there's going to be loyalty missions and whatnot. That thing looks like something I built in my garage. That makes it almost that much more terrifying. All right, let's move to belts. Um, belts are something that was not in, like, Unity or anything. And um, these different belts that are pretty cool, just different colors and ways for you to modify uh, their outfit. I guess it's sort of like the overall garb from the past uh, games. Beer bottle collection complete. We can collect beer bottles? That's weird. Outfits, though, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire game. Um, so currently we're wearing Simply Jacob. Then there's the Gunslinger Coat. There is the Outdoorsman outfit, the Secret outfit, Black Guard suit, Master Assassin, which looks super awesome. That's, like, freaking great, and we're going to get that from a, a mission reward, so probably one of the later sequences. Another Secret item, and then the Ezio outfit, which I love as well. That's a Ubisoft Club reward. I'll have to figure out how to get that. And then Colors is also something I think is super fun. Uh, I remember messing with this in, in Unity a whole bunch. Um, beige, gray, blue, and salmon. So this modifies not the outfit's uh, actual, like... Uh, what do you call it, like form factor, but it's it's color, and I, I hope it's fragrance as well. Beige, some of these are a little bit, they're very like somber in tone. The whole game has been very like muddled uh, and, and quiet and more like in the shadows than any past Assassin's Creed. There's not a whole lot of boisterous bravado, um, although that wine color is pretty cool. Karl Marx's memory is interesting. London's in chest for the green, the gold suit, that's not so bad. The colors are a little bit deceiving. Like this one says it's beige and blue, but like if you look at the thing, um, if you look at the little, like, uh, swatch in the bottom left, it looks like it's, like, red, blue, and beige. I'm not sure what that under, I guess that's, like, the coat underneath, but I don't see the red. I guess it's, like, a maroon. Um, wine is cool, green, steel gray, not bad, black, violet, 
Ooh, I like the fuchsia. And then Midnight Loop Blue. I think all in all, we just need to get a better suit, and then that will change things up. Um, I'll probably be picking one of these up for my actual walkthrough series, which you're not watching. It's pretty darn awesome. The game started off really superstar fun, so you can uh, click on part one um, up above or down below. Uh, that's the no color. Beige and blue. Hmm. Taupe. Forest green. I guess the best of the bunch is this gold, even though it's kind of bleh. Maybe I'll wait and unlock some more of these uh, later on. But for now, that's what you got going on here. Um, this is a new gun, and that's why uh, you can't upgrade it. So we can go to upgrades, and then we'll get better accuracy and stuff like that. Um, for the weapon itself, um, we can upgrade our current cane, Initiate's Cane Sword. But my thing is, like, why would you upgrade this stuff um, when you're inevitably going to get more better later on? Like, this is much more lethal. Far better in every way. Uh, but I currently have the initiate knuckles. I could switch the cane sword, but now that gives better stun. This is better lethality. Uh, but I could upgrade. I've got forty-five hundred dollars. Don't really want to spend too much on those. I'm just diving through some of the other menus in case you're curious. The skill trees here. Um, I do have no points currently expendable, but I thought we dip down to the bottom of the skill trees. Uh, combat stamina, um, chameleon. This is for Evie. Uh, while she's a master uh, of the hidden in plain sight uh, type sneaking. Uh, first strike, even more damage on first strike. Boom, getting real vicious. They get fast and ferocious as you move down these trees. Gunslinger, automatic headshots on counter shots. Demolition Derby, um, pretty cool there. Um, there is a store, and this thing allows you to buy Helix credits um, to get additional in-game currency. Resources, other time savers. You can get in-game currency pounds. Crafting resources, and if we go here... Um, it shows like you can buy all the stuff with Helix credits that you'll acquire. Uh, I don't know if you ever get any in the game or you have, you have to actually buy them. Uh, but there's plans, maps, add-ons, um, and then XP boost. Oh, sorry. I guess that's how I feel about microtransactions. Um, there's also this uh, progression log here, um, which shows you the Templar Conspiracy, uh, putting together the different people um, that I have. David Brewster has been killed. Then there's medical research, transportation, gang warfare, Lucy Thorne, Crawford Sterrick, and eventually, uh, yeah, getting to Crawford, the big, big bad up at the top. Um, conquest activities. I have, haven't done any of these yet, but there's child liberation, gang struggle, Templar hunt, gang war, bounty hunt. Um, we've also got like Evie's notebook, Secrets of London, a whole bunch of other stuff here. Um, that's all locked. There are perks as well. Um, so these perks, uh, when you accomplish the, like, sort of mini achievement, it's like the micro achievement along the way. Um, so for example, no touchbacks. I hit enemies 20 times in a row in the same conflict without being hit. That's 4 out of 50. We get slightly increased, uh, to our overall damage stat. Like, the headshot perk increases critical hit damage, stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And then you've got the progress tracker that shows 0% on London stories, miscellaneous associate activities, 5% on the storyline. Um, the database here has an encyclopedia of all, like, the historical stuff, so if you're looking to dive into, uh, what's going on present day. That was pretty cool, because then you can see, like, this is Bishop, uh, date of birth is unknown, I don't know anything about Bishop, Isabel Ardent is one of the, Ardant is one of the people, um, from Abstergo, born in Hong Kong, now, uh, in the UK, Young Innovators Program from Abstergo, we've got Otso Borg, Berg, who was one of the, uh, Master Templars, looking mighty fierce, uh, Rebecca Crane, um, obviously from past games and whatnot, with Desmond and whatnot, um, da 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 Sean Hastings, uh, Violet da Costa and Alvaro Gramatica. He was a doctor. He had like blood all over him in one of the early cutscenes. Um, there's also miscellaneous stuff, Assassin's Intel, and then more miscellaneous. Stuff's all locked up here. Um, there's tutorials as well. Don't really feel like that's necessary. Ubisoft Club here um, is going to sync us to the internet probably, which I'm not sure. This is going to go to like a website. I'm not sure if this is actually going to load. I've never been to the Ubisoft Club. Uh, another form of like you play and whatnot apparently gives you some extra rewards and stuff and um, you can see that uh, unlock extra outfits and, and such like that you can buy um, ooh that blue equipment cover is super hot okay hold up how do I get to that I want it so hold on games yes yeah, Assassin's Creed Syndicate let's see what all the options are um, let's see all our rewards here Sweet! So we can buy stuff. Yes! Master Assassin Reward Pack, Assassin Reward Pack, Teal Equipment Colors, uh, Belt Combo. Oh, so it looks like when we can switch to eBay, we will buy uh, cloaks for her, which is pretty cool. Um, this bl this one's pretty darn sweet. Um, and I have a bunch of Uplay points. I think this is the conversion of that, so I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy all these colors just so I can um, 
use them because that looks pretty awesome. And then, what is this Assassin's Reward Pack? Unlock the Elise and Aveline outfit. That's awesome. So we'll take that. Thank you. And then this is Edward and Xiao Jun outfit for Eevee. Okay, so that's from Assassin's Creed China. Nice. Um, there's also a 10%... Uh, what do you call it? Unlock the Ezio outfit and permanently increase in-game currency by 10. Sure, thank you. And 200 Helix credits. Great. So this is actually really awesome. Uh, a nice way for them to kind of reward you for playing past games and whatnot. As you see, I've got level 28. Um, revolvers. Might as well get this uh, Jacob's Noble Assassin Belt improves defense. EV improves her stealth. Bullseye Revolver. I'm just going to buy all this stuff so we have all these extra items and whatnot because it's pretty cool. So yeah, definitely go check out this uh, Ubisoft Club thing. I didn't know it would make any difference or be awesome in any way, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, and now we can actually doll up our, uh, our characters in some even cooler colors. So if we go here to colors, we should have new options. Yes, here they are. Ubisoft Blue and uh, Teal, which doesn't look as majestic as, uh, you know, when... When it, when we, whatever, when we, when we saw it on the, the little website, because we don't have any cooler costumes. But yeah, we can be like, teal if we want, didn't have to buy that or anything, and now I'm ready to go. It's unlocking all the stuff for our inventory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, kind of showcasing and sharing some of the other side elements of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Make sure to check out my walkthrough as we work our way through the main campaign. Until next time, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and are ready for more AC Syndicate. Until next time, let me know your favorite, uh, your favorite color outfit. Which one is it? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, drink so much hot. Thanks again. We'll see you all uh, later.